Yeah, I mean, I grew up with, you know, with this cartoon. Uh, I was too young when it came out, uh, but I was like five when I saw it, and I, I just, you know, I fell in love with the love story, obviously, between this mother and this baby elephant. It was, you know, really heartbreaking and moving and, and just beautiful. Tim is the perfect director for this movie because he, he understands outsiders, uh, outcasts, who, you know, are unloved or, or, or because they are too different. And, um, you know, he knows how to celebrate uh, the misunderstood. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is very refreshing to have a movie that says, be, be yourself, embrace who you are. You don't need to be perf perfect to, to be loved. I trained for like a couple of months with some amazing uh, circus people who were extremely patient with me because I was so panicked at the beginning of the job. I thought I would never be able to go up there and swing and oh. But they were just so wonderful and, and very kind and you know, they took it slowly. I went higher and higher and higher and then I, one day I, I took off. I managed to swing and, and flip and do weird things up there and because also it requires lots of strength, you know, core-wise and then like the arms and it, it's a it's really wonderful craft. Yes, I mean, you know, I, I never thought I would overcome my fears of, 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 the, of heights and it's in facing this that I was able to overcome it. I mean, it's such a visual story and, and the, the, the costume was very, very important and Colleen Atwood is of course a genius and she, she kind of like made those very rich, vibrant costumes, like very um, theatrical, dramatic, with lots of feathers. And then the, I think my f favorite um, looks are the, the performance outfits, you know, it's those big skirts and headdresses. And I felt like a, a Disney princess, uh, you know, uh, all that was missing was a wand maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, she, she's Vanderveer's girlfriend, who is the owner of Dreamland, who is a very cruel man. And uh, so she, the first time she meets Dumbo, she doesn't believe he can fly. Uh, and then, uh, you know, when she gets to know him, and especially when she sees that he can fly, everything changes. You know, she, he, he, Dumbo kind of opens her heart, and, and then she, she's going to be ready to to save him and reunite him with his mother. I mean, I'm, I think we all need this movie because it's a movie about, about love, about hope, about dreams, and it's, uh, it's terribly entertaining too.